We now have the ability to migrate our enterprise firmware phones to the cloud. So for a long time, the 78 and the 8800 series could register to call manager, or they could register to what we call HCS, which is basically call manager that is hosted by a partner. But now with platforms such as WebEx Calling, we can register our 78, 88, and our 6800 series phones to that. But what if you want to migrate your enterprise phones to WebEx Calling? No problem. We now support the ability to perform firmware migration of the enterprise firmware running on the 78 and 88, and you can migrate that to what we call MPP, or multi-platform firmware, and then you can easily register that to WebEx Calling. There are three basic methods to migrate your enterprise phones to WebEx Calling. Number one is to do bulk migration using Call Manager. Number two is to use bulk migration using DHCP options on a DHCP server. And then number three is to use alternate TFTP directly on the phone. So let's walk through these in a little more detail. First, how many phones do I need to migrate? If it is a very small amount, then just go ahead and use the alternate TFTP method. Or if it's a large quantity where you need to have sort of a zero touch or you want to automate it, then you need to determine whether or not they are registered to call manager. And if they are, just go ahead and use the bulk migration method with call manager. Otherwise, if they're perhaps in a staging facility and they're not registered to call manager, then you can use the bulk migration method using DHCP options. So let's take a look at each of these in more detail. Now keep in mind, if you want to have Mac-based activation for all of your phones, then you want to add your Mac addresses into Control Hub in advance. Otherwise, it will default to activation code onboarding. So let's take a look at these in more detail. So the first thing you want to do is go to upgrade.cisco.com. Upgrade.cisco.com contains a wealth of information on doing the migration from enterprise firmware to WebEx Calling. And basically all the three options are listed right here using Call Manager, using DHCP, or using the alternate TFTP. And basically no matter which migration strategy you use, you will need licenses. So you would get your licenses using the product upgrade tool typically, and then you would simply choose file and upload your licenses. They can be uploaded as one zip file, so you could have a large number of licenses. And then once that is in this upgrade tool, you don't have to worry about it anymore. You can go back to one of these three migration strategies. If we look here, we've selected the call manager and it reiterates the fact that if we want to use Mac based activation, plug your Mac addresses into Control Hub before you start. That way the process will just automatically happen. And then we will run this query on call manager for our phones that we want to migrate. And you want to plug in this load server, cloudupgrader.webex.com, and then you would upgrade your phones to 12.7. Now, having said that, if your phone firmware is 12.5 SR2 or higher, you can skip this and go directly to step 12. Then plug in this file, which is the intermediary load. And after it upgrades to the intermediary load, it'll reboot and register automatically to WebEx Calling. The second option also involves upgrade.cisco.com and we're going to use the DHCP options method. And the first thing we want to do is make sure that we've cleared all the security settings on our phone so that this process will work. And then what we want to do is set our DHCP options. So basically we will set our option 66 to cloudupgrader.webex.com and then we will set our DHCP option 160 to this string listed here. And once all of that is done, it will then go ahead and automatically register to WebEx Calling if 
you have plugged your MAC addresses in in advance. Having said that, the string listed for the DHCP option 160 is different for both sections, right? So don't take the string for the MAC-based activation and plug it into the code-based activation. These are actually slightly different URLs, so just keep that in mind. For this last option, using alternate TFTP is arguably the easiest option, but it's also the least scalable, right? So this is only if you have a few phones. You basically just go to the phone and change the alternate TFTP to point to the IP address listed here. And when you do that, it'll just automatically reboot. And again, it'll register to WebEx calling if you have plugged your MAC addresses in in advance. Otherwise, it'll come up with the activation code screen. Let's talk about which devices are eligible to be migrated to MPP firmware. So basically the 7800 series and the 8800 series, but the 7800 series, if it's version four or higher on the 7841, you're good to go. On the 7821 and 61, it's version three or higher. And for the 8800 series, the 8811, 41, 51, and 61 require version 14 from a hardware perspective or earlier. And then we exclude the 8821, 31, and the NR, which is the no radio. And the key expansion modules require no migration. Thank you.